Good morning, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be talking about uh, burning belly fat and getting six pack at the same time, right? So we are talking about getting a six pack. We're talking about you know, losing fat from the mid set part of your body. However, there's no one specific way. There's no one specific exercise that's gonna just you know be specific and just target that part of your body, you know, and try and burn fat from there, right? There's no such thing. So if you do want to burn fat and get a six pack, you're gonna to have to bring down you know your body fat percentage level maybe at 15 percent, 10 percent, 11 percent, 9 percent. 8% however do not go below 10% is not healthy at all right so what I'm trying to do in today's video is to teach you all guys how do you go to buy you know, bringing down you know your own insulin level in order to, for you to be you know to maximize your ketosis level ketosis is a state of producing uh, kilos kilos they by themselves they are the byproducts of you know burning fat that means you know the more your body is you know generating kilos the more your body is going to be able to be burning fat right so that's what i'm trying to teach you all in today's video so stay tuned until the end of the video if you do not understand any part of the video always come back here drop your comment in the comment section and video you do your questions i'm gonna be here to, to, to give you all an answer right so without any further delay let's right jump into the video step number one gotta be first fasting when i say fasting i mean intermittent fasting for those of you who don't know what intermittent fasting is it is a fasting that involves two windows the first window is your non eating windows and the, the second window is your eating windows right so what happened during your non eating windows is that you know your body is going to turn back against your internal fast resolve your fast the fat that you store into your body that making you look fat and be fat your body is going to be using that you know and turn it convert it into energy you know, you know try to energize you will energize you up to your breakfast time right so that's why you're gonna be you know burning fat right but there's a catch though let's say for example during the first uh three months of your fasting fasting journey you go to buy you know um you know fasting 12 hours every day 12 hours after uh, after three months sometime your body get used to that length of hours so what happens when your body get used to it your body's gonna go you know and use way more efficiently whatever calories you're supplying your body with if whenever that happens, you're no longer going to be able to be burning fast. So you don't want to be in that kind of situation. You want to be in a situation whereby you're fasting, but you're burning fat, right? So always make sure to go under the scale. After three months, start measuring yourself under the, under the scale. If you, from, from, from the second month to the third month, if you're not losing weight, that means your body already get used to the amount of you know uh, calories you're supplying uh, into your body, right? So, and or your body already get used to the number of hours you fasting, let your, your your 12 hours. So, what you gotta do? Go there, add in four more hours. So, four plus uh, 12, that's gonna be 16 hours. So, whenever your body reaches you know like 12 hours, your body gonna be asking itself, you know, listen, I used to be getting my calorie supply after any, every 12 hours. So, since this guy is no longer gonna you know, supply me with the, with the calories, one I'm gonna do I'm gonna go and do and use his or you know her internal fat reserve and fat storage convert that into inner you know energize her or him up to whenever he wishes you know to supply me with the new calories right and that's how you burn the fat and this is what I'm doing and it's working for me I hope it work for y'all guys go home try if you face any problem come back to here you know ask me questions i'll be giving you guys an answer i'll be guiding you out right but trust me 100 percent it is gonna work always good about tricking your body with extra you know uh, hours after two months of fasting right you can go from from 12 to 16 from 16 to 18 or from 18 you know to 20 right that really gonna depends on how fat you are and and how motivated you are by you know getting rid of your body fat you know and being healthy looking healthy and looking good right so the next window we're going to, we're going to be talking about now it gotta be your eating windows when it comes to your eating windows you gotta be talking about your breakfast right so always try first your first meal gotta be salad first always go about having you know six to seven in your cup of salad every day right why am i saying salad first because you want to get more vegetable into your into your into your salads in that sense you want to be able to be getting more natural carbohydrates you know into your into your into your body and more you know a natural protein right into your body right always try and include you know more avocados into your salad because you want to be able to be getting you know, natural fat from the avocados natural carbohydrate from 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 the other avocado right so after you sell it then move on to your pro daily protein intake you've got two options if you are someone who is working out 
then what about taking 2.2 gram of protein per kilo of body weight let's say for example in my personal case i weigh you know, 70 kilograms i always use 2.2 gram of protein multiplied that by 70 the reason i'm going to be getting there the fact i'm going to be doing my daily take and this is what i'm doing and you're working for me always good about doing this way you're going to be losing your know, fat and you know, and getting more muscle right because you know your body going to be needing more energy to process you know all those protein you know dry and synthesize dry your muscles right and in this way you're going to be again burning fat you weigh 70 kilo 80 kilo 90 kilo 100 kilo whatever the weight your body weight is use that multiply that about 1.6 gram of protein every day that's gonna be the result gonna be your every daily in protein intake we were talking about burning fat gotta be consuming fat when i say uh, consuming fat i mean consuming a healthy fat right so always you know make sure you know to to get your fat you know from from avocados from olive oil from mct oil from nuts like almonds all those you know are you know are good source of you know uh, healthy fats right you gotta be able to, to be getting some you know some good you know quantity and quality of unsaturated fat from them that was all about in today's video if you have any further questions or you drop your question in the comment section down below i'll come back to you i'll give you an answer thank you and Bye.